Hello everyone, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be going over the practice solution for um, the exercise we had on parsing JSON. So let's go ahead and take a look at our acceptance criteria. So we have the news app and it must show current news titles from an API. Alright, so we can hop on that really fast. Um, and since um, um, actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So here's the news API website, um, and let's take a look at what we need to get. So um, here is our um, our URL, and we have our endpoints, of course, or our endpoint. So we are going to need the status, total results, and articles. It's essentially what we're going to need from this response. So let's go ahead and create an object for it. So we can say class news response all right and of course if you haven't done so make sure that you actually uh, log in and get an API key because this will not work if you do not have an API key so go ahead log in and do that I already have mine in fact you can see mine right here um, just because I don't want everyone spamming my API key um, I made what I did was I made a class called it API key, I'll call this key, and then I just made this uh, public static string, called it key, and equals whatever. So um, then you can just essentially say key dot key. And that's essentially what I did for API key. All right, so now that you have that, you should have your API key, you should be ready to go. So we have status, total results, and articles. So let's go ahead, we have our news response, um, public string, status, whoops. And we can of course make this a property, get set. All right, let's take a look. All right, this is string, and then total results is an integer. So we can go ahead and make this right now integer um, total results um, and of course we can capitalize this status get set um, and then public now this is going to be if you notice there's a list of articles all right so we're going to need to make our own article object that has we just need the auth we just need the title um, in this case, all we really need is a title. So we can say class article. All right. And then in here, we can say public string title get set. All right. So we can say public list of articles. And we can call this articles get set. All right. Now we're good to go. Um, we have our, our um, objects ready to go and they're created. So now we need to make a new HTTP client. HTTP client. Call this client equals new HTTP client. All right. And of course we are using system.net. HTTP, um, and we'll be using newtonsoft.json, so make sure you have that dependency um, downloaded from NuGet as well. Okay, so now we're actually going to create our own private function, um, and we'll, it, of course this needs to be async, task, get, articles. Okay, so we have a get async task, get articles. Um, now the first thing we need to do is we need to essentially um, get our response. So we can say string response equals client dot get string async. All right, and then in here um, we can, oh, whoops, that's Android Studio. We can simply take um, this URL and then put it in here. All right, now this is uh, looking a little little crazy. There we go. 
So we can take this URL and put it in here. Now it's saying um, cannot implicitly convert um, tasks string to string. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, get string async. Um, so it's looking for a string. There we go. Now it doesn't like this. Aha, so what we need to do, you already know, is await. There we go. And then we can paste that in there. And we're good to go. Next, we need to put this API key in there. So we will add the dollar sign for string concatenation. And then we can say, um, just put your API key in there. I'm using mine from my constants file. So there it is right there. Um, and then just to make sure we're good, we can console.write line this response. Response, all right. Now, of course, um, we're going, we would just, uh, we'd actually need to make a program object. Program, program equals new program. All right. And then we can call program dot um, get articles. All right, there we go. Now, take a look at this. We need to await it. So we await it. And now we can't do that in void, so we can say async task. All right, there we go. So we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and run this now. Take a look and see what our response is. See if we're actually getting everything that we need. And there we go. Looks like we're getting what we need. We go to the top of this, status, okay, articles, we have our articles. All right, so now we need to um, essentially deserialize this. So we can say um, news response, we can call this news object equals new, well actually JSON JSON convert dot deserialize object um, news response and in here we can say response. All right. So now in here we can simply do um, actually we already have console right line so we don't even need to put anything there. We can just say news object and um, Actually, we're gonna we want to take a look and see each specific um, article title. So we'll just say for each var um, articles in news object. Actually, we'll say article in news object. Um, news object dot articles. And say console dot write line. And then we can say article dot title. So let's go ahead and now see if we can get this. And there we go. So now we have um, the title right here. So we have all of our titles from our uh, news articles, and of course, if you want to see it a little bit more clearly, we can say console dot line. Just add that again, and then we can see. Um, there it is. So it looks a little cleaner. We can now see each title. All right, that's awesome. So now we can say let's make another um, function and call it. Private async task um, get, well, I'll say read article. All right. So, oops. Okay. So now that we have our news object, um, we can actually. Um, I wonder 
So we can actually, so we have our news object and it is, actually let's, let's go ahead and just for simplicity, we'll put it in here. So news object, we'll make this kind of a nasty function. We can write line, um, what article would you like to read? Okay. So then um, var index equals um, console dot read line. Okay. So we're going to get the index um, and we'll say Hmm. For each, we want to get the index of these news articles. So for each var news index in, in let's see, news object dot articles dot, oh, in articles, um, we can say news index dot. What if there's uh, articles dot get index? Let's see. Um, let's try this. So. We can try something really gross. Um, var, actually this is point of a for loop, so let's do this. Um, again, I'm doing this raw, I'm just kind of going going for this. Um, nothing too crazy, um, I have actually n haven't planned this. So, and I want you to guys to see again the way I do this and the way I go about this. If you have, um, if you guys have of course better solutions, um, I always want to see them, so make sure you let me know. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty raw right now, so we're just going to say var i equals zero. Um, i is less than let's see news object dot articles dot count, and then i plus plus. Okay. So if, um, if I equals index, what's the problem here? Equals index dot convert. Oh, let's try this convert. Whoops. Um, close right line. So we'll try a read line dot. Oops. Convert. Dot to int thirty two. Perfect. All right. If i equals index console dot right line. All right, and then we can say title public string content get set. All right, I'm pretty sure. Let's make sure that that is correct. Um, content. All right, there we go. Perfect. So content console dot right line we can say um, news object dot articles um, I dot content okay so let's give that a shot um, Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so we have our titles here. 
And then what article would you like to read? Let's do two. So it should be third article, 34 missing in boat fire. All right. So we hit two. All right. And then the con conception, the boat set ablaze on early this morning. Santa Barbara on Sunday, boom, boom, boom. All right, boat was on set to return 5 p.m. on Labor Day plus 937 characters. All right, so we are now able to not only get news articles, uh, their titles from an API, but we're also able to specifically say which article we want to read, which is really cool. So this is essentially the foundation for making a website or a mobile app. Um, being able to do these sorts of things is very important. So if uh, you guys have a handle on this and are able to do this, then um, you're in really good shape to then start making mobile apps and um, start uh, making websites as well. Um, so this is a uh, this is really important that you guys know how to do this. Um, and this was actually a lot of fun. Um, of course, this is uh, unscripted as always. So definitely know, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys can think of any other bonus questions as well. Um, I can think of one. Um, oh, dang, I closed it. Um, if you notice, it said like 900 or something characters at the end of um, the content. It said it had the content plus whatever characters were remaining. Um, try and actually get the rest of the article itself. Um, if you can get that, that would be awesome. Um, or you can actually get the URL from the response as well. So there's the URL and try and actually get the text from this URL. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope this uh, not only makes sense, but gets you excited to actually start making some real fun applications um, because there are APIs out there for just about everything. So this is a huge, huge milestone in your development because you can essentially make almost whatever you want because of the amount of APIs that are out there, especially the ones that are free. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.